Hi, I'm Sean McBoffin. I'm one of the surgeons over at the Cleveland Eye Clinic. And today I want to talk a little bit about interventional glaucoma. Glaucoma is a condition where elevated eye pressure can cause damage to the optic nerve. And ideally, in order to treat glaucoma, we would like to lower the intraocular pressure. Now typically, our first line therapy for glaucoma is using eye drops. The eye drops help to lower pressure. And that's kind of been our modality for several years. But over time, we've realized that eye drops have a lot of issues when it comes to patients. Number one, we always have issues from a compliance standpoint. We feel that our patients are taking the drops regularly, but if you inquire with patients, you'll find that many times patients are not using the drops as often as we think they're using them. Besides the compliance factor, the other factors are drops can create side effects. And with those side effects, there may be redness in the eyes, irritation, things of that nature, which many of my patients can tolerate, but they really don't like the fact that they're having this irritation in their eyes. And finally, the other issue with drops is cost. Many times the drops can be generic, which is affordable, but many of our newer drops are not affordable and can be very costly for patients, which can then cause them not to use the drops. So what are our choices if we have issues with drops? Well, the American Academy of Ophthalmology, as well as the American Glaucoma Society, as a result of the LIGHT trial, this was a trial where they looked at using SLT, initial therapy of SLT versus initial therapy with drops. And what they found with this trial, it was a six-year trial, they found that patients that were treated with SLT had a slightly lower pressure compared to drops. And then from a statistically significant standpoint, they were less likely to need glaucoma surgery and they were less likely to have visual field progression. So when the results of this trial came out, what we realized is they now mandate that SLT is, should actually be first-line therapy as opposed to drops. So the reality is that when we see our patients that are using drops, we should bring up with them the option of utilizing SLT as opposed to drops. Now, SLT is not a new procedure. It's actually been around for over 25 years, but there's been a big improvement in the realm of SLT where we now have a device called DSLT. What's the difference between DSLT versus SLT? It's a huge difference. In fact, it's revolutionary the difference that's taking place. SLT, from a physician standpoint, is somewhat cumbersome. It's not easy to perform. Whereas with DSLT, the procedure has become automated. You do not have to touch the patient's eyes and it consistently applies 120 spots of light energy in the right location. More importantly, from the patient perspective, whereas conventional SLT would take about four to five minutes to perform, with DSLT, we apply these spots in less than three seconds. You hear your static sound? You're doing good, perfect. And that was it. So extremely quick and efficient. The overall results with DSLT are very similar to SLT. Now, there are other modalities available from an interventional glaucoma standpoint, but as first line, we would recommend DSLT. And then after DSLT, there may be some other procedures that one can look at, such as utilization of either Durista or IDOS. With Durista, we place an implant inside the eye that will release medication for about six months. With IDOS, what's nice is it gives latanoprost for a total of three years. In addition to that, there are other things that can be done either at the time of cataract surgery or as a standalone procedure, either canaloplasty, goniotomy, or there are various stents that can be placed such as hydras or eye stents that can be placed to help to lower the pressure. So bottom line is we're in a great uh, time frame when it comes to glaucoma where we've, we've got a lot of choices to offer our patients that can minimize their dependency on eye drops. Thank you.